The Hampton Township Police Chief says an officer from Seabuing was shot in the hand after a struggle with the teen during a transfer. NBC 25's Nikki Zizaza is in the studio with our top story. Nikki, how are residents in the area responding to the incident tonight? Well, Kyle, some residents I spoke with who live near the juvenile detention center tell me they are not afraid. They say the neighborhood where this double shooting occurred is typically quiet and safe. Kunio Oled is not shaken by the shooting scare that happened in his neighborhood. Well, I, I feel very confident that the employees there and the, the neighborhood here is just a, it's a wonderful place. He's referring to the double shooting that happened in the parking lot of the Bay County Juvenile Home in Hampton Township. Oh, it sickened me, obviously. I mean, I, I've, I've known the officer since... He was quite young and I've... A 10-year veteran with the Ciba Wing Police Department was transporting a juvenile detainee to the detention center when officers say the teen slipped out of one of his handcuffs. The Hampton Township Police Chief says the teenager, who has not been identified, reached for the officer's gun. There was a struggle. Then he says the suspect fired a shot, striking the officer in the right hand. This is very unusual. We've never had an incident happen like this out here before. In 40 years, I don't recall an incident like this. Yeah, and Cuneo agrees, saying he believes what happened was an isolated incident. Can't imagine anything like this happening again. The officer is being treated for non-life-threatening injuries. The teen is on life support and in extremely critical condition. The case has been turned over to the Bay County Sheriff's Office after being initially handled by Hampton Township Police. Under Sheriff Troy Cunningham tells NBC 25 that the officer's name will be released once he's discharged from the hospital. In the studio, Nikki Zizaza, NBC 25 News.